I just watched Batman and Bill for the first time, and as someone that considers themselves a pretty big Batman fan, it's kind of shocking even to me that it took me this long to watch it. I used to not be that big of a documentary guy, just as I've gotten older, they become more interesting to me, and this is obviously a Batman documentary, so I had to go check it out. To a lot of people, this is probably going to be old news, and so hopefully that's fine, but to others that maybe aren't that into documentaries, if you're a Batman fan, period, you should watch this if you haven't. I would highly recommend it, because it's about the man that created Batman just blatantly being robbed of his creation, and not being credited or properly compensated for what was his. Batman is Bill Finger Starling. Batman would not be Batman without Bill Finger. He would be a joke if Bob Kane was the actual creator of this character. He would be nothing more than a joke. He would not be so many people's favorite fictional character of all time, myself included. He would not be so relatable. He would not be someone that so many people can identify with. To put it simply and to put it bluntly, Bob Kane is a piece of shit. Bill Finger is a legend. Bill Finger died poor and alone in 1974. Bob Kane, in a lot of ways, killed Bill Finger. He killed his career, and he killed him just in general. If Bill Finger had the wealth that he deserved and that he earned, he probably would have lived longer. And it's just sad to know that. And some of the truest words spoken in this documentary to me are, and I quote, For Bill, there is no forgiveness. There is no forgiveness for doing that to another human being. Another human being that got you to where you are. You would not be anywhere without this man. You aren't even going to give him credit. It's the lowest route you could possibly go. And for that, there is no forgiveness. There is no respect for Bob Kane. It's just downright disgusting. And it just kind of irks me to know that his name will forever be attached to Batman when Bob Kane does not deserve that. I knew a lot of what I heard in the documentary. I knew that Bill Finger had more to do with the creation of Batman than Bob Kane ever did, but I just did not know how foul of a human being Bob Kane was. Like, he is. He was the foulest of the foul. He did all the stuff just to be famous. He didn't do it for the passion. He didn't do it because he loved Batman. He didn't do it because he loved the world. Bill Finger was the guy behind the bat. Bill Finger had the passion he developed the world of batman he is the reason we have the batman we all know and love today it wasn't until 2015 that bill finger was properly credited for the creation of batman by dc comics themselves batman v superman is the first feature-length movie that had his name in the credits it is ridiculous that it took 41 years after this man's death you get him the credit he deserved. It's a shame that he couldn't live to see that. He deserves so much more in life. And as a Batman fan, it hurts to, to know that this man lived not such a good life because of just unfortunate events surrounding his life and the world and just the comic book industry at the time. I have a lot of respect for the author that you follow in this documentary that devoted much of his life to getting Bill the credit he deserved. Batman would have been nothing more than a joke without Bill Finger. Bill created who Batman and Bruce Wayne is at his core. He created the world of Gotham. He is responsible for the Batman we know today. He is responsible for the Batman that is timeless. Thank you, Bill. And it wasn't all this author, of course. Uh, Bill's granddaughter had a lot to do with it but that's really the main thing i have to say about the documentary um i'm very happy that it got bill the recognition and props and the credit that he so deserved because batman is his and will forever be his creation and like i said it just really sucks that he couldn't live to see himself credited for that and I will always hate Bob Kane. And uh, as long as it's Bob Kane, I will always speak ill of the dead. Fuck that guy. How could you do that to another human being? You are a sack of shit. But I definitely recommend the documentary to anyone that hasn't seen it. Be sure to watch and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. This was something a little different. Let me know if you want 
you know, more of something like this where I'm not just talking about a movie or a show or an episode of one of the podcasts, just what I usually do on this channel. The, this was a little bit different. It still has to do with Batman, which, of course, is my favorite fictional character of all time. Uh, Batman is a subject I'm highly passionate about, obviously, so seeing the man that created my favorite character get really screwed over kind of got me riled up, and I was in a bit of a more emotional state than I usually am when I'm recording a video. But hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.